back at it with another highly requested video. We are here to chat about none other than Petula Active. Petula Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Or, as I like to call it, Petula Umbilingata. Don't ask. Whenever I think of the word Petula, I think of Medulla Umbilingata or whatever that is. Petula's got a nice ring to it. It actually stands for Passion to Unite and Live Active. Who knew? General overall vibes, off the bat, I'm seeing them as more of an overall athleisure brand. I'm pretty sure that's what they classify themselves as. I saw a little background tag that came with one of the pieces, and this is what it said. Activewear for the errand running, gym kicking, schedule dominating individual who needs clothing that can keep up, look great, and feel even better. Active could be anything. Doesn't mean you have to go to the gym, rah, rah, rah. Whether it's school, a family, you name it. Busy, busy, busy. This video is brought to you in part by Ebby. Empowered by you. Ebby specializes in seamless undergarments. And for my gym ladies, attention. Ebby's undies are great for wearing underneath your gym leggings. Their premium material blend balances stretch and support. And their slip proof technology keeps your panties in place. So if you're squatting, lunging, if it's leg day, you don't have to worry about VPL. The fabric lays right up against your skin, super cool and breathable, and they come in a variety of flesh tones, bright colors, you name it. I have so many of their nude high-waisted thongs, it's crazy. That's really all I wear underneath my gym leggings. But don't get it twisted, they also have different styles depending on your preference. You like briefs, low rise, they even have bodysuits. Speaking of which, I wanted to share with you today some of their brand new releases. I have here today the Pink Lady and Skyway Blue Bralettes. These are two different bralettes. As you can see, the Pink Lady Bralette has no adjustments, a little more coverage going on in the back. You also have thicker straps, removable bra pads, and a really pretty delicate v-neck. I think I prefer the Skyway Blue Bralette a little bit more. Here's why. We have adjustable spaghetti straps, a very natural scoop neckline, and over on the back, it's a full-on breathable mesh. So even though we have two different styles here, there's a lot in common. They're both lightweight, breathable, and have removable bra pads. It really is about your preference and what you're choosing to wear with it. In the Skyway Blue, I have the high-waisted thong, and in the Pink Lady, I have the brief. This is perfect for those who prefer more coverage on the backside, but still don't want that VPL. The high-waisted thong, you already know, I'm gonna get the most use out of this. These are definitely my favorite cut from what Ebby has to offer. So definitely check them out. I'll have them linked down below. And if you see anything you like, feel free to use code Ashley Gata for 15% off your entire order. Right over here, you can find all of my measurements. I'll also have them down in the description box below for you to reference. And I will also have every single piece you see in today's video linked down below as well, in case you wanna take a closer look. Ironically enough, last week, I hopped on Instagram stories and I shared with you a little breakdown of what videos to expect here on YouTube next. I tagged Tala, Petula, Amazon, Buff Bunny, you name it. Petula actually reached out from that tag and offered me a code for you guys. This is just a code to offer you guys 5% off of your order. The code is ASHG, and thank you so much if you do choose to use it. Please let me know so I can thank you. When I saw this hooded sports bra, I was automatically sold. And you know I like that uniqueness, so of course I had to grab it. I'm not gonna lie, there was barely any colors to choose from. I think this was the only one left, Periwinkle. Not complaining, because I actually love Periwinkle. It's hard to match with a lot of things, but nevertheless, it's a pretty color. I wanted to try this piece so bad that I actually went with an extra small because that's all they had available. So I wasn't able to try my true size small, and I'm really, really glad that I did. It was meant to be. Fate had my back with this one. There's a reflective strip following the zip Zipper. Nice contrast with that black zipper. The lining really just makes it pop. This is a bit of a long line bra, so there's a ton of coverage. This is not an actual band, just a little flap. The hood is really nice and large, but lightweight, so it's not choking you out. This is a racer back. Beautiful keyhole design. There's no adjustments, but you do have removable bra pads. What I really appreciated about this bra hoodie is the fact that there was no digging. The cut right around the arms was perfection for me. There was no bra bulge, nothing uncomfortable and unsettling, especially considering I size down to an extra small. Right on the back hood, you can see the logo. This one's written out. This is printed, it's not a patch, it's not a rubberized logo, it's printed. Now there's not a ton of support in this bra, but for what I need, and to look chic, 
Ah, uh, yeah. The material is very soft. It feels almost slightly brushed, almost like Buff Bunny's legacy leggings. A little bit of new beret going on. That's what I feel. Very overall thick material. Keep that in mind. It's still very lightweight, comfortable to wear, but there's some thickness to this. Good amount of stretch too, so overall very comfortable to wear. I decided to try the peak legging in the color spruce. Now this is in my true size small. Take a look at this pattern. It looks more beautiful in person. Online, I was like, you know what? I think I like it. In person, I was like, yeah, I really do like it. I feel like this looks like mermaid scales. If you look up closely, this design is slightly raised. You can feel the texture when you move your hand down the legging. This is not your silky buttery soft. There's truly a ton of stretch in this. I would say sticking to my true size was a really good call. If you're in between though, down is where you wanna go. My biggest concern when grabbing these was, is the pattern gonna fade? Just like any pattern legging, if it's of inferior quality, when you squat or move around or around the meaty areas of your body is where it's gonna fade to white. Luckily these did not. There was no sign of fade anywhere. A big reason is because they didn't skimp on the lining. If you look here, it's actually the same exact color, no white lining, no front seam. You do have a back seam and they separate the glutes pretty nicely. Now, because it's such low compression, I feel like there's nothing actually getting sandwiched in. I would not wear this doing anything crazy like running. I really do believe that if there's a legging you could get away with wearing to the gym, you might be able to get away with this one. And I feel like the comfort level is just there. So if you wanna wear it for all day use, yeah. When squatting in these, I noticed there was a ton of gusset space. These leggings really moved with you. I know that a lot of their leggings are offered in 23 or 26 inch. You already know me being five foot three, I have to go with a 23 inch. Very cellulite friendly and super squat proof. If there's anything in this haul that I would wear to the gym, it would be these, the peak leggings. Let's do a whole 180 and check out the Taylor legging. This is so different than the peak legging. Two totally different animals. Actually, it was Bay who grabbed this out of the bag. His first instant reaction was, holy crap, like this is so freaking soft. This is a 23 inch inseam I chose. There's three different inseams that you can choose from with this legging. 23, 26, and 28. So first thing I noticed, other than the ultra buttery soft fabric, was how thin these are. These are so thin. Not very cellulite friendly, but this is totally second skin, 100%. They're also really good at not placing seams at the top of the band, because nobody likes that. Really nice V-seam on the back. You also have a seam separating the glutes. I think it's very flattering on the peach, but that's because there's really no support. <laughs> none in the waistband, none in the rest of the leggings. Nada. We have extreme stretch. There's no doubt about that. These are so comfortable to wear. If you're somebody who just is dying to grab a pair of leggings that you can wear all day and possibly even sleep in, the Taylor leggings. Except for actually deadlifting or going to the gym or running or sweating. This is the epitome of a lifestyle legging came across the Petula Bear Warmth. The reviews on this legging were so good. I was like, all right, this has to come home with me. This is in their color ice gray. I felt like it was very fitting for the winter. I didn't mind going with any crazy colors, maroons and things. I just wanted more of a neutral winter color. I actually grabbed this one in a 26 inch inseam. They ran out of the 23 inch inseam, but I wanted it so bad that I didn't mind. This is what they actually wrote on their website. This ultra stretch, ultra soft fabric has a subtle, fine, velvety fleece feel on the interior with a brushed exterior. Still breathable, but with a little added warmth for this winter season. Do you want to know what this fabric reminded me of instantly? Aloe Yoga's Aloe Soft Material. If you've ever tried that material, this is it. This is better, why? Because there's no front seam. All of Aloe Yoga's Aloe Soft leggings have had a really heavy front seam. That was always the deciding factor of me sending them back. These do not. So for this legging, this actually has a crossover V waistband, but the material doesn't actually cross over, if you know what I mean. It's actually stitched together at the crossover. This way, really admire them for this one because now these flaps stay in place. Out of the leggings I just shared with you, this definitely has the most compression. I think sticking to my true size was perfect. Just like the other leggings, they still kept the high arched back V seam. This does give a flattering look on the glutes. I actually felt when I first put them on, this back middle seam rode up a bit. I would say this isn't very cellulite friendly, even though it's more compressive than the other leggings. Even though these are thermal based, thicker material leggings, they're not very squat proof. Now this is a very light 
shade of gray. But when squatting, I can see the tag through the leggings. Now granted, I'm never gonna wear these to the gym. They're really only for me to go outside in and walk and do what I gotta do. <laughs> Something these leggings all have in common, if you look closely, the band is slightly tapered. It arches in ever so slightly to create a dynamic look around the waist. Something else they all have in common, in case you haven't noticed, none of them were seamless. They all have very minimal seams. That's really the only way I would wear seamed leggings. I'm actually not a fan of leggings that have a ton of seam contour around the leg, over the kneecap and things like that. Nine out of 10 times, I always really feel it and it's never truly comfortable for me. I can do without them. In fact, that is what deterred me from one of Petula's leggings. I did notice they had what appeared to be more of a gym friendly legging. I'll insert a picture here. Let me know if you guys have tried it, but I wasn't a fan of all the seams everywhere. I don't want to see all of that. I just had to grab a matching athleisure set in the color vanilla. I think what sold me initially on this was the heavy rib. There's a sophistication to this set that really stood out to me. Between the mock neck top, the back pockets, just something about it screamed semi-professional. Not that I am. Yet again, they did not have my size small in the matching top. This crop top I had to size down to an extra small. Yet again, I'm glad I did. <laughs> I guess sizing down in their tops are just the way to go for me. The mock neck fits pretty well, comes to a comfortable length, covers most of the midsection, and it's tight enough where I feel like I don't necessarily need to wear a bralette underneath. I'll still go to the store without a bra, I don't care. The heavy rib helps to conceal right here. Stuff with my true size small for the leggings. First thing I notice is this is a bit of a rougher texture than the other materials. Not as soft, it's very lightweight and breathable, but there's a, there's a level of stiffness to this set. In fact, when I put these leggings on, they had a really decent stretch to them, but I noticed a little bit of bunching and wrinkling right underneath the glutes. The stiffness of the material causes a little bit of wrinkle there. I didn't notice it at all with the top. The top is very body fit, so it was very snug against my body, but this one in particular was cool because of the back pockets. Having them on the back, I feel like could help make the glutes look a little bit perkier because when the pockets are placed high, it automatically lifts the glutes. It's an illusion. This time, they did a black logo. Nice heavy contrast. They don't like tonal here, do they? Now these are completely sheer when squatting, just like the previous leggings. You can see the tag right through it. Again, not a huge deal. Not really planning on doing a whole lot in these, except for maybe running errands and going out or just lounging. Yeah, overall, a really high quality ribbed athleisure set. I'd highly recommend. So there we have it, our very first Petula review haul on this channel. What are our thoughts? For me, first impression, I got really good vibes from this brand. This isn't necessarily on the super affordable route. There's no denying that. I paid an average of $70 a legging. I think one of them I got on sale for 53. So it's not camo fitness level, of affordability. This is definitely in the range of alpha elite buff bunny price point. Now for the quality of what I received, I do think the price point is fair. This is about how much you pay for a decent quality legging nowadays. The big question at hand, would I buy from them again? Yes, absolutely. In fact, if you guys have tried them before and there's a piece you really love, please comment down below and let me know so I know what to try next. Really appreciate you guys being here. If you have any other requests on brands you'd like to see, comment down below. I love you guys and I'll catch you in my next video. Yeah.